You guys are not gonna believe what I just did. Actually, no, you, you probably will, but it's been highly requested whenever I ask people if they want me to do this, and that's opening a brand new Shopify store. Now, it's not in the sense that you probably hope, no, I'm not gonna go build it, I just don't have the time. But what I am gonna do, now I'm gonna be jumping into my computer a little more often, hopefully over you know the next couple weeks or whatever. If you want me to go through and build out this store, like show you all the different components that go into it and everything that I do with all of my sites, then hit that nice looking subscribe button down below so that I know you guys want me to be doing that so today I literally just opened it less than five minutes ago I'm gonna be jumping in putting a product on there and showing you exactly how I set up each product I'm gonna go through and do probably one or two which is gonna show you exactly how you should be setting up all your products everything about it if I leave anything out drop it in the comments down below and I'll be sure to add on to it with the next video let's jump into my computer all right, so now that we're here inside the store, as you guys can see, the trial just started. I, like I said, I set it up like not even five minutes ago. It's called Bracelets World. It's just a little bit of a random thing. I came up with it like that. So it's nothing special. I'm not actually be like building this store. I would have put more effort into the name. But right now, we're gonna be going through and picking some products and kind of getting it going. I know I've made videos on how to pick products and everything that goes into that. So you can go check out that video if you haven't already. I'm literally just gonna grab a random thing, probably a bracelet, and we're gonna throw that up on the site. I really wanna kinda of show as much of this as I can. I don't wanna leave anything out. Like, As I'm sure you guys know, you use Oberlo to actually import the products from AliExpress into the Shopify store. I'm not gonna be doing any of that right now or today at all. I don't wanna go through and set that up. It's not hard, but I, no, I just don't wanna do that right now. Setting up all these accounts and stuff that I'm gonna eventually have to cancel or whatever. So I'm just gonna throw the product up, show you how I do the description, the pictures, everything that relates to that. I'm gonna go through here just literally screenshot them. If you do go through uh, Oberlo, it's gonna automatically import them. For those of you who have a store, you, you know that already. Um, it's easy stuff. So I just, I'm just gonna take the photos, I'll enter the price. As you can see here for this product, it costs $3.67. To be honest, I've seen these bracelets for cheaper on AliExpress, so I would look around if you're doing this. Um, oh, perfect, it shows measurements as well. Yeah, this is an awesome product. I know they sell, uh, I've seen them, so. I actually know someone who does it. So we're gonna go over to products. And normally through a barrel, you would just push it right into your store. Um, with that being said right now, we're just gonna directly add a product. I've actually never added a product this way. Uh, I hope my computer doesn't freeze. I have so many things running. It's like softwares and stuff. Um, I honestly, I don't know if I'm spelling this right. I don't really care. Lakai, I'm just gonna go charm bracelet. We're just doing it. You do your research, but throw in the name. I'm gonna upload some images. Okay, cool, the images are in. I literally just uploaded them, took five seconds. Now we're gonna go through and do the description. This is the most important part. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to attack people emotionally, create a hook in the first part, which I'm gonna actually be showing you guys how I'm creating like and setting everything up. Um, like size-wise, I have like two mini paragraphs, but you'll see all that in a second. And then a secure checkout button, which is huge. Again, I'm gonna show you the placement of everything, using colors, bold, underline, how I set up my products. Of course, there's people who do this differently. I might not be the best at it. Actually, I know I'm not the best at it, but this is what I do. I've tested a little bit and played around with it. It, it at least kind of works, you know? Results don't lie. I'm, I make profit off Shopify, so whatever. This is this is how I do it. Oh, and I guess the name recorrected. Lokai. I don't, I don't know if, again, I don't know if that's right at all. Uh, is it? Oh, it's a chakra. It's a chakra brace that I've seen. Yeah, that's what it was. I don't know where I got Lokai. Chakra. Freaking oh, healing bracelet. Yeah, that's what it is. Whatever, guys, don't hate me. I'm just a young boy out in the suburbs trying to make a video for YouTube. That's it, man. All right, well, let's go through and this, this is gonna take some time. I'm gonna try and leave some of this in so you see the process, but like, you gotta think. Think things through. I'm gonna end up making it. I'm gonna go through, revise it, change things, flip it around, and do all that. Um, let's see. Everyone needs, I'm just going based on my limited knowledge of this product, first of all, so bear with me. Everyone needs more balance in their lives. And that's exactly why we chakra, that's exactly why the chakra healing bracelet exists. Again, I'm gonna change all this, but whatever, get a basic, I don't know, I'm trying to, every, everyone has a different creative process, so this is what I'm doing. Brace, um, for those stress-filled hair-pulling days, I'm saying that because it relates to them, um, it's like 
everybody has those days where it's just like you get pissed off or whatever, it's a tough day. So we're relating to them in that sense from an emotional standpoint, like where they're attaching themselves to that pain, like that pain point that they have, you know, everybody has those bad days. So um, for the stress-filled hair pulling days, this is what millions of, I'm gonna try and use like a, of centered, millions of people use to keep themselves balanced. So, dot, dot, dot. Mm. Today, <laughs> I'm not gonna do a capital there. Today, we are giving away 100 of these, of our, because you want it to feel like it's your product, not drop shipped. Uh, today, we're giving away 100 of our chakra healing bracelets for free and you guys are gonna see like I normally don't say use base numbers like that like a hundred or a thousand because people don't believe it but what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using I think it's called Herify I'm gonna check my other stores it's an app that like lets you show a decreasing amount of time on the actual like stores page for a specific product and it also shows a decreasing number of how many of the products are left so for this one specifically we're saying today we're giving away a hundred of them when you go and set that up, which you should, I'll make more updated videos on the apps I use because it's changed since I made that last video. Uh, I'm gonna have only like 15. So they see we're giving away 100 for the day and there's only 15 left. So that means like, you know, 85 of them have already gone. So people like them, people are buying and they're like, oh, I gotta claim mine quickly. It adds that scarcity, that urgency and honestly social proof as well um, for free. But hurry not everyone will get a chance to i don't really know much about this product so like i could be off do your research just i'm just gonna say like center their souls center their soul <laughs> sounds whack as fuck whatever to center their souls all day long all day long and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna enter and click enter <coughs> excuse me enter drop down a line and we're gonna throw in a secure checkout badge of course we haven't uploaded any files I'm just gonna go it's because I'm in a um, I'm in one of these tabs uh, private browsing tab oh what am I doing type in secure checkout badge this is actually a, a, a good point I, I'm glad that I don't have the picture because I'm showing you the process of going through and picking this super super important uh, yeah, this this will be good. Good enough. Oh wait, no, that's uh, it's a transparent file. I don't think that's really gonna matter too much. If there's one that's not, whatever, we're gonna take it. Secure checkout badge. Save it. Go over. Drop down a line. Click this little image button. Upload a file. Insert. Where is it? Boom nice and big at the bottom main key so this is usually chakra healing bracelet for free boom I'm, I'm gonna throw this in bold something like that like that's that's the simple way like that's how i'm creating my product descriptions it tells them a little bit about the product uh you could go more in depth i know there's again i don't know much about this product i don't do it at all but uh, I know there's some sort of story or meaning behind the beads. So you could talk about the different beads up in that first paragraph. Uh, I like to have a short, like two to four sentences at the top and then about two sentences kind of structured like it is right now on this bottom one. And then under that, a secure checkout badge. Um, and that's it. So go through, change, I leave it at zero, compare it at 32.99, bang, bang, boom. Nope, I don't charge taxes on my products. I eat that cost. You never want people to feel, this is actually a big point, probably pretty irrelevant to this video, but super important with Shopify. Never make people feel like they're paying for something twice, okay? The reason being is because you don't need to. It's gonna add an additional charge. It makes them, they've already gotten over the emotional hump of like swiping their credit card metaphorically to pay for something once. So if like they're checking out, they've already committed to buying the product and they see shipping's another $2.99, that right there, you're gonna have people drop off who like don't actually fully go through and buy it which is not good because you could have just added that 299 into the initial product cost. So just add it on to either the front end or back end. You don't need to charge for anything twice, three times, whatever. It's a big mistake I see a lot of people make and they usually don't know they're making it. So yeah, 
this is how I set up a product. Um, I hope it helped. Again, if you guys like have any specific things you want me to go over regarding a store, products, images, anything more uh, relating to this new store I just opened, let me know down in the comments below. Drop a like if you want me to keep doing these. You know, I think it's kind of cool that I just threw this together and opened the store. I think it's going to provide a lot of value to you guys most definitely who are like getting started or even you know if you already have it going, like show how I'm setting up my store and all the different variables inside of there. I almost feel like I'm recording a course right now, but I'm giving it away for free. So whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed and got some value out of this, and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Peace.